Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> tech giants, the tech community, ladies and gentlemen, this is my message to you. Even though we face walled gardens and closed ecosystems from you, I hope that one day we, the people, the consumers, the owners of these devices, will be able to communicate effectively and efficiently. I hope that one day, certainly not today, but one day in the near future, we can transfer files wirelessly and efficiently to each other from this to this without the need for any third-party apps. No more security and privacy risks through third-party apps. No more primitive techniques like email or messaging apps or the cloud. Let us use technology, the technology of our dreams, to connect with one another freely and without any boundaries. It's time to give the people what they want. It's time to build bridges between each other and not burn them. Thank you very much. Hey guys, welcome to another WYS by Adam Lash. I've been wanting to make this video for so long, but I grew frustrated every day, more and more frustrated every day. And the whole issue is about, okay, let me ask you this question. It's 2022. You have an Android phone like this Galaxy S22 Ultra, and you have this iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now, here's the simple question to you. How can you transfer a file from this to this? without any third-party apps, without any cloud software, without any messaging apps. Go ahead, good luck, natively. How can you do it? You can't. And this is exactly why I am making this video. You know, okay, let me be honest with you. I became so frustrated recently when Samsung killed its support for transferring files to the Mac. So Samsung had support through Samsung DeX and I was able to wirelessly and efficiently transfer files from this to this with no problems. It was equivalent to AirDrop. And by the way, in my opinion, I think that Apple's AirDrop is the gold standard for transferring files. AirDrop was introduced a decade ago and now Android is playing catch up with their Android share, which is okay. At least now we have that great feature. So you can share files wirelessly between Android devices, but there is no way to natively share files between your iPhone and your Android device, like your Samsung. There is no way to share files between your Mac and your Samsung. And I know some of you might be saying, hey, Adam, there's, there's still Android file transfer. No. Android file transfer is the worst app, man. It keeps crashing. It's useless. Google stopped supporting that thing for years. And I don't know if they're doing it deliberately. I don't know what's going on. I even contacted Samsung to complain about this, to tell them exactly how I feel. Why did they kill support for DeX? DeX was the only way to effortlessly and wirelessly transfer files from my Android device to this Mac right here. Well, the Samsung representative told me that there is a growing rift between Samsung and Apple, and that's probably why. And I think I believe him. Now, the problem is tech giants are growing apart every day. I don't know what is going on, but they, don't, they refuse to talk to each other. And for those of you out there that say that, hey, we can't do this. They come from completely different worlds. Um, this thing is completely different than this, and that might introduce security threats or security problems. Well, guess what? It took a pandemic for Apple and Android devices to work together. You know about the COVID tracing app. They worked together and they perfected it, and the system works between all types of devices. Why can't they make a simple file transferring technique to transfer files from Android to iPhone, from iPhone to a Windows laptop, from a Mac to, a, to an Android device. Are we asking for too much? No. 
We're in 2022 and this is like a must have. It's a basic requirement. It's a basic right. I can't transfer any file from this device to my Mac unless I use third party apps. I'm going to tell you all about the solutions available out there. I want to be able to do it natively. I don't want to be using something else. And that is my message to you, Google, Samsung and Apple. Samsung, I'm very disappointed with what you did by stopping support for Mac devices. These tech companies are growing distant every day. Everybody is in their own little world, in their own little shell. They don't want to communicate with each other. I understand why they do this. At the end of the day, they're trying to look after their best interests. I understand that. But there has to be a way to communicate with each other. This is ridiculous. We can't send files to each other. And Marquez, by the way, made a video about this. In the States, most people are using iPhone's messaging app. But elsewhere around the world, like here in the Middle East, we are using WhatsApp. And that's also another problem, but that's a discussion for another day. We want a cross-platform solution. We want to be able to send messages to different devices. We want to be able to send files to different devices. And this is my dream, ladies and gentlemen. One of the ways you can send a file from this Galaxy device to this Mac right here Unfortunately, that's the only way available right now if you want to do it. If you want to do it through Google is to use Google's Android file transfer. And that app, like I said, hasn't been updated from Google for years and it crashes all the time. It's not responsive. So don't use Android file transfer. The next effective solution that I have for you, wireless solution that kind of mimics AirDrop is something called SnapDrop snapdrop.net now i looked into the privacy policy of snapdrop and they claim that snapdrop is malware free and they respect your privacy and i even asked an it expert on that and he said that it should be fine but remember snapdrop is still a third-party solution it's not a native solution now what is the solution to all of this i've been waiting for years for google to release nearby share support for chrome on all devices that would solve the problem ladies and gentlemen google i'm looking at you samsung i'm very disappointed with what you did by killing samsung dex support for max but google you have the answer you are the connecting point you are the link between all of these devices between all of this between all of this max windows machines everything you can connect everybody google by just offering support for Nearby Share. Now, Nearby Share works on Chromebooks, on, works on Google Chrome, on Chromebooks, but it's not supported on Macs yet. And I've been waiting for this for years. The moment Google supports Nearby Share on Google Chrome, that would be my dream, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching this video. And have a great day.